Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build a wormy compost bin. I want to start off by saying that there will be a link at the end of this video where I set up this worm bin and also a link to a playlist containing videos related to wormy composting that you may be interested in. First, some things that you are going to need are two heavy duty totes, landscaping fabric, hot glue or silicone, a safety pin, a power drill with a large drill bit, I'm using a 3 8 bit, measuring tape, scissors, a marker, a straight edge, I'm using a piece of wood, pliers, and protective wear such as safety glasses and gloves. First, turn one of your bins upside down and lay it flat on the floor. The tote I am using is not completely flat, so I will demonstrate where to drill holes on another tote that I have. If your tote is completely flat at the bottom, like this one, get a measuring tape and mark off about 2 inches from each side. You don't want to drill holes on these sections. Now, make a mark every 2 inches across on each side. And every 2 inches down on each side. Now draw lines connecting the corresponding marks like so. Wherever the lines intersect is where you need to drill a hole. The tote that I am using is not flat, so I will drill a hole in the middle of each one of these squares, which turns out to be about two and a half inches apart. If there are pieces of plastic that did not fully detach from the hole that you have created, you can use pliers to pull them off. Now, take some landscaping fabric and cut it to the same size as the bottom of your storage tote. Next, glue or silicone the fabric on the inside of the storage tote like so, taking extra care to ensure that there is a continuous bead of glue on the perimeter so that the worms are unable to escape from the bottom. After the glue has dried, using your safety pin, poke a few holes wherever you have drilled a hole just to facilitate drainage of excess liquid that can potentially build up in your bin due to heavy feedings. This step is more important if your landscape fabric is thicker and more impermeable to liquids. Now place this tote that you have modified into the second tote. These heavy duty totes are built in a way where there should be a few inches of space between them at the bottom. Any excess liquids that drain out of the first tote will be captured in the second tote, which you should periodically empty. If your totes don't stack in this manner, you can place a few bricks strategically in the bottom tote, on top of which the first tote can rest. Like I mentioned in the beginning, there will be a link at the end of this video where I set up this worm bin, and also a link to a playlist containing videos related to worm composting. If you like this video, please check out my playlists on my homepage where I have neatly organized videos according to topic for your ease. And please subscribe and turn on your bell notification so that you know whenever I upload new content. Thank you.